As the end of the century approached, an ardent army of Jane Austen fans was swelling in numbers. Then and now, the spiritual home for these enthusiasts was and remains the Georgian resort city of Bath. Today, the highlight of Bath's annual Jane Austen Festival is a dashing Regency parade, a carnival of muslins and millinery, bonnets and breeches. Did you make your own costumes or did you buy them? This is my own, no. uh, and this is a naval surgeon, 1806. Oh, is it? Oh, yes, yeah. Do you think that's what a lot of the appeal then is actually seeing the clothes, the costumes, Ooh. the carriages, the oh yeah, the chandeliers? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's that age of elegance that's gone, I think. Uh, and, and a lot of people look for it. A lot of people are, are, are wishing they were back to that standard of, of elegance. A hundred years ago, there was a rather more serious male interest in her books. A sophisticated and highbrow clique of academics and aesthetes who called themselves the Jainites. For Jainites, like Sir George Saintsbury, the proper appreciation of Austen's literature was an exclusive and reverential pursuit. With Miss Austen, the myriad, trivial, unforced strokes build up the picture like magic. Nothing is false. Nothing is superfluous. Katie Halsey is the author of a new book on Jane Austen's readers, and I met up with her in Bath to find out who these Janeites actually were. They're a sort of cosy elite of Oxford dons, the literati, um, who are all really interested in Jane Austen. They do seem quite precious to me. The Janeites say things like, oh, I'd like to marry Elizabeth Bennet and spend my life with her. It's quite an odd thing to say about a heroine. Yeah, it is. But then that whole thing about wanting to be a part of Jane Austen's life is very much part of what the Janeites are all about too. So they're interested in falling in love with her characters, knowing more about her characters, being part of a world, I suppose, that Jane Austen has created. So what was it that the Janeites found in the books? Is it the characters, the style, the laughter? Is it the wit? Is it the architecture? <laughs> I think it's probably all of those things and more. I mean, I think one of the things they did find was a, an idea of an England that had gone, a secure world, a world that has rules, however much those rules may actually be subverted and undercut in the novels. So I think people saw that stability in her. I think it's good to know that there are all these sort of male supporters of Jane Austen throughout history because somehow the fact that she is now seen as such a kind of female author with a female readership has somehow undermined her status. Yes, and I think it's important for people to know that Winston Churchill, for example, read Jane Austen in the middle of the war and he said that she cured him. Antibiotics and Jane Austen made me better from a fever, he said. Another loyal Janeite was the writer Rudyard Kipling, 